All right, thank you for staying with us. The stock market extended its losses for the third day in the week as investors they lost about 403.03 billion naira. As a result, the Nigerian Stock Exchange All Share Index fell by 1.1% ,1 to close at 40,096.01, 40, uh, while market capitalization shed 425.9 billion naira to be at 21.3 billion uh, uh, Naira. However, stockbrokers and some other stakeholders have listed the stimulation of private sector activities, uh, creation of an intervention fund for securities dealing firms, and consistency in government policies as strategies to grow the market amid growing economic uncertainties. I have uh, joining me uh, live via phone to analyze the performance of trading at the nation's stock market uh is the chief operating officer of one of the stockbroking firms uh mr charles fakuda thank you very much for your time mr fakuda yeah thank you tolu for having me i appreciate you now tell us this figure is so much market shedding uh this what is responsible for this figures yes you will recall that um at the beginning of the week we saw trading in the southwest direction monday tuesday and um, Wednesday, so it was yesterday that the bulls were able to recover, and today we've seen the bears taking over. Of course, this is not unconnected to the dynamics of the market. If a frequent buying and selling will make prices to go up and come down. And we have seen that um, there were a lot of sell pressure, there were a lot of sell off from high cap companies like Zagode Cement and Bua Cement, and that was why we are seeing what has happened today. You also recall that when we are having the bullish trend, you could see that there were a little bit of tampering of some policies. We saw in the almost space, treasury bill space, we saw rates move up a bit. And of course, investors are risk adverse. And when they are risk adverse, they want to put their capital in securities that they are sure of the return. You know, the stock market return is very uncertain, it's volatile. But investors, especially the ones who are risk adverse, want instruments, security, that they will be guaranteed of their return. So we see more of rebalancing of portfolio, more and more of investors selling to take position in some of these other fixed income space where they are setting to realize guaranteed return. However, we also want to explain to investors that you don't just sell off by ourselves. You must have done your own work previously. And for discerning investors, we still believe that the market still has a possibility of going up again. Now, the equities market has been influenced by a variety of conflicting trends, uh, ranging from depressed fixed income markets yields to foreign investors' walkout and walkbacks. Yes. What would be the general outlook for quarter one and quarter two of 2021 in your assessment? Yes, for Q1, we have seen some of um, the trends in the market. We have seen the market going up. We see the market coming down, depending on the macroeconomic environment. Uh, before the end of Q1, we are going to be seeing more companies trying to bring their numbers to the market. And some of these numbers are already coming. Once these numbers are very positive, obviously, we will see more investors rebalancing and coming back to the equity market because they want to take position in the dividends that these companies are going to be paying to their investors. Because in the fixed income market, the treasury bill space, if investors are going to be getting up five percent, what we see, some of the dividends that are going to be paid, the dividend yield will be up to six, seven, eight percent. So we might see more and more discerning investors we do consultation with their stockbrokers, rebalancing and coming back to the equities market because the guarantees, the returns there are sure to be higher compared to the rates they are going to be getting in the fixed income space. So, Bakura, let me quickly put you through this. Friday's trading is closing negative after we had a positive trend yesterday at 1.39%. Top advancers, we have UAC Properties, Unity Bank, Japo Gold, Fitzin, and Regalings. Top decliners, Livestock, NEM, Insurance, Link Ashore, Afri Insurance, Boa Cement. How do you react to this? And what about taking us through a little bit of sectoral performance as we move on? 
Okay. Well, if you look at the decliners, you will see that um, one or two of them are quite a little bit high cap. And uh, once you have high cap stuff like that, losing, of course, is going to affect the overall uh, market. That's not to say that one or two stocks dominate the market and show the direction of the market. It is a combination of factors. There were more of sellers today compared to those who were bidding. We have more offers than those who were bidding. And that is why the price has come down. Well, it's a dynamic of the market. For frequent buying and selling, prices are bound to go up and come down. And that is indication of a market. If I have a market that is continuously going down, 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 or up, 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 then I know something is there wrong. Once the market is coming down, down, it's also an opportunity for new investors to get into this, some of these securities at a cheaper rate, depending where these equities will go up. So and for those who have invested earlier, seeing their securities doing 4 5 cent percent increase, it's logical for them to also sell up, realize their profit, and move elsewhere. However, we are seeing that the market still has a possibility of giving investors the required returns that they will want, looking at their objective of investing. Let's project for next week. Uh, that, the week starts, uh, that's on the 15th of February. What are your projections as we move on? Yes, looking at um, what has happened this week, four days, we have seen four days in the password direction, just only one trading day in the positive direction. Now, looking at um, for next week, all things being equal, by the time we see more and more of these companies trying to send their earnings returns to the market, concluding their board meeting and trying to send all that to the market, once these results begin to hit the market, and most of them are positive, I expect the bulls coming back to the market again, one or two days, and of course, we are still going to see the years struggling to also come back to the market. So we're going to be seeing that up and down dynamics of the market, and um, we will know that discerning investors will have to get close to their stockbrokers now before they take informed decisions that will meet their investment objectives. Before I let you go, we can't rule out the effect of what's happening in the larger economy to what's also playing out at the capital market and, of course, the money market. Uh, let's put both side by side. What effect do you see that having both on the capital market and the money market uh, as we round up the first half, as we, move into the first, as we round up the first half of the year? Yeah, that's a very good question. With the macroeconomic, the stock market does not operate in isolation. The market is expected to mirror. It's a barometer of the overall economy. And once the numbers come out from the authorities, the CBN, uh, uh, the federal government, Office of Statistics, and if these numbers are positive, of course, it is going to be reflected in the prices of equities that we see in the market. Yes, uh, we see a little bit of recovery towards the end of the first quarter, and we'll see more of recovery by the time we enter Q2 2021. I really appreciate your time, Mr. Charles Fakura. Thank you very much, and enjoy your weekend. Thank you for having me, Tolu. Thank you so much. <laughs>